service. Let's stand and go before the Lord and ask Him to move in our midst this evening. Father, have your way tonight. Move in a special way by your Spirit. We thank you for this day that you have made. We rejoice and be glad in it. We worship you tonight. And I worship Him tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Chapter 3, verse 18. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. I want to read that again. Verse 18. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. And with the help of the Lord, we're preaching on a title, The Bridge to Life. The Bridge to Life. Uh, Brother Joseph, would you please pray? Heavenly Father, Lord, we come seeking your holy word seeking your direction and by the Holy Spirit move in our, move in our spirits Lord and Father God. And Father God we ask you to bless uh, the Reverend this night as he speaks your holy word, speak through him and may, may it be good for our spirits in Jesus name we pray, Amen. Amen, thank you. A bridge a bridge is a structure carrying a road, a path, a railroad, or canal across a river, a ravine, a road, a railroad, I already said that, railroad, or other obstacle. And typically bridges are used by vehicles, some have pedestrian pathways, to cross from one body of land to another. And I don't know the exact number of bridges, I don't know if anybody does, in the world. It's hard to say. You may find some 
uh, different varying sources that say, you know, one thing, uh, and, and some say another. And the reason why it's so hard to account for is, you know, you have structural bridges, and then pretty much anything can be called a bridge. You can have a creek, you know, out in the, uh, the back country, you have, uh, you have like three pieces of four by eight plywood going across it, they call that a bridge. So it, it depends, you know. But in the U.S., there are more than 617,000 bridges just in the U.S. alone. And here in Pittsburgh, we have a lot of bridges, obviously. And those that are from Pittsburgh, you know that Pittsburgh has been affectionately named or nicknamed the city of bridges. So many bridges. You have the Three Rivers, the Ohio River, the Allegheny River, and the Monongahela. All joined at the point, and there's different rivers, I mean different bridges, covered by uh, crossing these uh, bodies of water. And Pittsburgh has laid claim to the, uh, I guess you could say the thought that there's more bridges in the city of Pittsburgh than anywhere else in the world, but a little research I did said, and usually locals say that, no offense, I mean, I've been living here a long time, uh, that's not exactly true. Pittsburgh does not have more bridges, there's a lot of bridges, but there's, doesn't have the most bridges uh, in the world. Um, the cities with the most bridges from this source that I looked at, number one in the world is Hamburg, Germany has 2,300 bridges. Then the second most amount of bridges is Amsterdam in the Netherlands, 1,281. New York City has about 789 bridges. And one source said, if you include the tunnels, there's about 2,000. And then Pittsburgh, PA, has 446 bridges. There's still a lot of bridges. And Venice, Italy is number five at 391 bridges. And there are different types of bridges. Name some of them. You have suspension bridges, cantilever bridges, truss bridges, arch bridges, cable state bridges, beam, beam bridges, uh, uh, tied arch bridges, movable bridges, uh, through arch bridges, there's foot bridges, aqueducts, swing bridges, viaducts, and some of these bridges are, uh, are some types of bridges are draw bridges, you've seen them before, where there is going over a body of water and there's not enough clearance for a vessel or a ship to go through, the bridge will actually come up and draw us up. There's a operator there, he knows the timing to uh, draw the bridge up so that the ship can pass through. And then there's bridges that are what's known as toll bridges, where you have to actually pay a toll to go across the bridge. And some of them can be quite expensive. I know the George Washington Bridge, I, I've been on it before, if you've ever uh, been to New York City, uh, is about $16 just to cross the bridge. And that's for cars. But, but at least they give you a choice, the upper or lower deck. <laughs> and, 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 and that's for quite, now if you have an easy pass, it's a little cheaper. It might be between uh, 11 dollars and thirteen twenty five. You get a little discount. Then if you have a truck, a five-axle truck, it's about $90 to $95 to cross the George Washington Bridge in New York. So it could be kind of kind of costly. And if we didn't have these structures called bridges, we would be landlocked in many scenarios. And you might not you may not be able to get to where you're going, or you may have to go another route. Find another way around. You've seen it before. You ever get ready to go to a certain place and there says road construction or detour, bridge closed. And man, it's a real hassle. Traffic gets tied up. And there may even be instances where you really can't get to where you're going. So we see the importance of having bridges. And there are a lot of structurally deficient bridges in the U.S. And 
Some of you may know, January 28th, we had a bridge collapse here in Pittsburgh. And nobody died, but I think it was like nine people were injured. So things happen. Accidents happen. And so we see that bridges are an absolute necessity in our everyday lives when it comes to going from one place to another. Just part of life. But tonight, I want to talk to you about a bridge, another bridge. Not a man-made bridge, a bridge made of steel or a concrete structure, but a bridge uh, that provides connection. A bridge that crosses a divide, a chasm. And without this bridge, it would be totally impossible to cross. And you might ask, what, what chasm? That would be totally impossible to cross? What are you talking about? The chasm that we're talking about tonight lies between a holy God in heaven and sinful mankind. I read to you out of the book of Isaiah in the Old Testament, chapter 59 and verse 2, where the prophet said, Your sins have separated you between uh, you and your God. And I am thankful tonight uh, that Jesus is that bridge. He's that bridge that gaps uh, that That doesn't count the bridge. 
There's a lot of religious people. As has been shared before, it's not original with me. There's a lot of there's a lot of religions that are good to live by, but they're not they're not good to die by. You have to be born again of the Spirit of God. Some bridges, some physical bridges, they have weight limits. They have weight restrictions. Uh, where you can't cross the bridge if your truck or your vehicle's a certain weight. And a lot of times it's because that bridge is deteriorating. And maybe there's something wrong with the beam. Or they just have weight limits. Uh, it's illegal. Or you can get a ticket, you can get fined. Or you can cause damage to the bridge and to order your vehicle. But I am come 
that they might have life. And not only just life, but life more abundantly. In this life, abundant life, and in the life to come, eternal life. You can be happy in this life. You can be content in this life. You can have joy and satisfaction in this life. You can't find true joy and true peace and true love outside of the bridge to life, Jesus Christ. You can't. Amen. I tried to do that. I tried to, to, to fill myself with the things of the world, but there was always something missing. And I was talking to a man last night. Anybody would be watching now. I hadn't talked to him in. Something really spoke to my heart. I guess I just want to share this with you real quick. This man I was stationed with in the military. And uh, I got this request on a messenger on Facebook from this individual. And I go on story short. The man asked, were you stationed at such and such? In a certain year? I said, yes. And uh, it was a man that, when I had become a Christian, he lived in the back of the military. I guess he was watching my life. And I think he became a church one time. And he asked me, he said, are you still serving the Lord? I said, absolutely. And he said, you're the reason, or the reason why I'm a Christian now. People, they watch our lives. We have an effect upon people. We don't, and you know, sometimes we don't even realize it. And I'm thankful. I'm thankful that when we walk across that bridge, that bridge to life, Jesus Christ, yes, it has an effect upon us, but it also has an effect upon others. You know, the Bible says there's a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. The only way to get to heaven is through that, that bridge of life tonight. Jesus Christ. No other way. No other way. What did Jesus say? He said, broad is the way and wide is the gate that leadeth unto destruction. And many there be that go in there but straight is the way. Narrow is the way that leadeth unto life. Jesus is that bridge to life. And few there be that go in there at. The gospel is for everyone, but not everyone will accept but it's a whosoever gospel. It's for, for all men and women. It doesn't matter who you are tonight. But it's up to you to accept that. It's up to you to walk across that bridge to life tonight. Jesus Christ. He'll take that weight. He'll take those sins. You don't got to worry about that bridge being structurally uh, uh, deficient. It's not going to collapse from your sins. For too many people going across. No weight, weight limits or weight restrictions. You don't have to pay. You don't have to pay. Jesus already paid the price with his blood that he shed on the cross. That innocent blood. He did that for you and for me. Tonight, will you cross that bridge to life? You can. You can do it. And if you want that tonight, and you want someone to pray with you, we'll pray with you. Or you can just pray, you can just pray there in your pew. Prayer is not necessarily a position of the body. It's a position of the heart. God bless you tonight. Will you cross that bridge to life? Let us find a place to pray.